Hi there, my name is Belinda Dovson. Welcome to the I Ching Cafe and our next weekly overview. Can you believe it? We are here on the 20th of January, looking ahead to the week. It feels like January went boom. So if you have not got stuck into a year, we have got to get motoring. We've got to get into it. Remember, if you haven't yet done so, to go and have a look at the monthly overview for January, which is all about developing our capacity to act. So do go along and have a look at that as we keep connecting to this idea of making progress towards where we need to go. And if you remember from the monthly overview, the 20th is when the second changing line kicks in. And that says, don't be cynical. Don't be doubting of what you're here to do. Dive in and go for it. Give it horns. So perhaps go and have a look at that changing line in light of this week. All right. So a recap. Last week, we had hexagram 14 locked, which means doubling down on abundance. Thank you for all the messages that I've received around the little windfalls and gifts and the abundance and the insights that came to you last week. So this week, commencing the 20th of January 2020, we have our first hexagram or our first focus or flow of change is hexagram 30, radiance. Now we had this hexagram as our December overview. And when I talked about this hexagram, I said this is a very, very opportune time in December for you to go and get stuck into your strategies because this energy of this hexagram, of hexagram 30, is about the brightening of things and being able to see things more clearly, having perspective. When you think about flames and fire, which is a doubling of this hexagram, you see there's fire on the top and there's fire on the bottom, doubling down of fire and flames. This is about thinking of the campfire. And when we're all sitting around the campfire and the fire is burning and we put more wood on, we put more wood on, and the fire gets bigger and bigger and bigger, we can see further around our camp. We've got a bigger perspective. And the more fuel we put on, the right kind of fuel, the bigger these flames become and the bigger our vision becomes. And so this is the idea of this week, this idea of radiance, that this is an opportune time to look for the omens and the signs, as the I Ching talks about. So as our fire gets bigger, we're going to see new things. We're going to see clearly. And of course, one of the key questions around building a great fire is the fuel we use for the fire. Do we use good quality wood or do we use wood that is wet and just fizzles or do we use wood that burns out too quickly? What do we cling to? What is the thing that sits at the heart of what we are trying to do in our businesses and our personal life? And you remember from last week's overview, we talked about hexagram 14 and part of that is about focusing on purpose. So I really hope that you've done that work because if you have, fire is going to burn even brighter for you this week. Now, this idea of fire, of radiance, of brightening things, of illuminating things and making things bigger and brighter and bolder, we have one changing line this week in the first position. And this says, fire has arrived. So this idea of the beginning of the line, remember that our changing line when it's in the first position is something that's arriving. The bright omen has arrived. The light has arrived. The clarity has come in. And we have to see it and pay attention to it, but because it's at its beginning, we can't be overzealous and go, wow, and run off. It's about taking this thing that's arrived, this omen, this new beginning, this new arrival of something into your business, your personal life, and saying, okay, something new has arrived. Let me treat this thing with respect and care like I would care for an egg if I'm carrying an egg, right? Or something precious that I'm carrying. So this week, what we're being asked to pay attention to or focus on is observing what we can now see because we are brighter and sharing and giving and putting fuel into this wonderful energy of clarity this week that is waiting for us. So get stuck in. If you haven't finished those strategies for the year in your businesses or your business planning, if you put it off and you've had a great time, over the Christmas New Year period and now you're back at work and other things and other dramas have come in. You know, this week you've got to get to it. You've got to finish it. You've got to shine brightly because fire is trying to help you. The changing line really just says, treat it with loving care, this new thing that's arrived. So I would say that for each of us, 
maybe in your business life, personal life, family, wherever this ties in for you, is you're going to get a sign. Okay, and the sign might be something you've been waiting for that arrives. A communication that tells you this is where I'm supposed to go. It's almost like, I'm sure you've had this experience where you have an idea, this is what I want to do, this is my purpose, this is where I want to go. And you kind of are walking in the dark of it. And then something comes into your life and it goes like a mirror. Whoa, this really is the way you're supposed to go. And those moments when you get those signs are wonderful because they're life affirming. They're saying, you know what, you've got intuition, you've got a clever brain on you, you can work it out, you know what you need to do. And when you get these messages that come, it's like wonderful, it reaffirms that you actually are on track. So I think we're going to get some whew, signs, omens, events, arrivals, things coming into our week where we suddenly realize we are on the right track. We're getting a biofeedback from the flow of change around us. Our second hexagram for this week, what the week is transforming into as we start the week, is hexagram 56, the wanderer. Now, this hexagram is all about leaving behind what you know and going towards something that is foreign, traveling into foreign lands. So on a mundane level for you this week, this literally might be about travel, right? And when you travel to new places, especially places that are culturally different from yours, make sure you don't make assumptions around what is culturally appropriate. Behave well in someone else's house. And the same thing applies for traveling. We go somewhere new, we behave well in this new environment we don't fully know. Because if we don't, if we are brash and loud and we assume we understand the culture, well, we get rebuffed and we don't get the help from the strangers that we need. So take that symbolism a step back and say, all right, what does this mean for my business? What does this mean for me personally? It means that as we evolve throughout this week, one of the things we're going to be doing is traveling, experiencing new things, dipping our toes into new lands, leaving what we were doing and going on a new adventure, stepping into something new. And so, for example, this might be in your marketing of your business, for example, or perhaps a particular product that you're now going into a new market. You've taken your product into a new market or you've taken a new product that you've created into a new sphere of activity and you now have to go and market it or you're talking to a new group of people or you've added a new segment of customers to your customer base. And what would be foolish is to assume that the way you talk to that group of customers is exactly the way you need to talk to all the other groupings that you know well. And when you are a stranger in a strange land, don't assume you understand the customs. So it's like the languaging around advertising. And if you're talking to a new group of people, just be aware of that. If you are traveling, just be open and accept the help of strangers and be a great traveler who's learning and is open. It's just like a sponge absorbing in this new environment that you're a part of. But whatever it is specifically, this is about going on a new adventure and going outside your city, outside what you know, the city representing your world you've left behind and going on a new adventure. Very interesting for us this week, we have this energy of brightness, of growing, of clarity coming because the flames are burning brighter and brighter and brighter. We're clinging to great wood. We are respecting this omen that has arrived, the brightness that has come into our world or our business. We're caring for it and we are being a great traveler, going on that expedition, being brave to take on a new journey, but behaving well in an area or a land we don't yet understand. Great week. Remember to go and check out the monthly overview. And if you have not yet done so, there is an annual overview I did at the beginning of January. Looking at 2019, what did we learn? And looking ahead to 2020, what is the overriding flow of change we are all being asked to pay attention to? Very interesting stuff. Right. Have a great week. See you on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for our daily stories. And of course, subscribe to this channel or subscribe to this podcast that you can get the latest episode as it drops. The more we can work with getting in tune with the flow of change, the more we can accelerate our development, and the more we can make a difference to our world. That is why we are here at the end of the day. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon.